This cracks me up, and it's so inspirational. It's from Gold, Israel Gardi's book on alchemy that Llewellyn sent me. And this is Wim Hof vibes, inspirational craziness, uh, how this story goes. Because he's talking about the kundalini shakti energy that you can cultivate, that inner fire. And mentions you know the different how it's referred to in different traditions. Like the Gnostics in the early Christian era would call this the spear realm. And in the Hebrew Kabbalah, it would be the guise of the serpent. And in the alchemical works, it would be the dragon, frequently with wings and eating its own tail. And that would be their different imageries for this inner energy that you can cultivate. And so in Tibet, in Tibet it would be the Tumo training. And so from this book by Madame Alexandra David Neal called With Mystics and Magicians in Tibet, she talks about the techniques they use that they go through about clearing the mind, cultivating the inner fire, breathing techniques, a 10-step program. It sounds very intense. Um, and then the part that just is fantastic and makes me think, wow, humans, is this. Sometimes a kind of examination concludes the training of the Tumo students. Upon a frosty night, those who think themselves capable of victoriously enduring the test are led to the shore of a river or a lake. If all the streams are frozen in the region, a hole is made in the ice. A moonlit night with a hard wind blowing is chosen. Such nights are not rare in Tibet during the winter months. The neophytes sit on the ground cross-legged and naked. Sheets are dipped in the icy water, and each person wraps themselves in one of them and must dry it on their body. As soon as the sheet has become dry, it is again dipped in the water and placed on the novice's body to be dried as before. The operation goes on in that way until daybreak. Then uh, the person who has dried the largest number of sheets is acknowledged the winner of the competition. It is said that some dry as many as 40 sheets in one night. 